Oh, come on, game. Are you serious right now? <laughs> I hate my life. It has to be done. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Hi. I think I have a decision to make. Because... <laughs> let's be honest here. I just found a damn Mew in Mount Moon. I'm going to see if it can learn high jump kick. Because if it can learn high jump kick and it can learn ice beam, I'm 100% switching trains. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do I get rid of here? I don't even know anymore. Uh, let's get rid of Gyarados. Who cares at this point? Who cares a dose? Look at that freaking Mew. Oh my God. Got to be kidding me right now. All right, what does it have for its moveset? I know it has Razor Leaf and Agility. Pedal Dance and Rolling Kick. Okay, those are not good moves. Okay, well, can it learn Ice Beam? Wow, it can learn Ice Beam. Can it learn High Jump Kick? Who is this? A Stun Spore, right? Nah, I don't need that. Can't learn high jump kick. Uh, but it has rolling kick, which is about half as strong. But it's still, Mew has much better physical than, uh, than Magneton. Wow, so that Mew has a terrible defense stat, apparently. Because Mew has 100 for all of its base stats across the board. So it has good attack and good speed, terrible defense. It's DVs, I should say. Okay. Am I really going to do this? I think I'm going to do this. I don't normally do this. I'll tell you that now. I really don't normally do this. I am going to switch. I'm going to switch. I'm going to go from... Oh, this is going to be so rough. <laughs> Switching from Magneton to Mew. I don't even know how I'm going to be able to get past Gary at this point. Oh, actually, I know totally easily how I'm going to get past Gary because one of the nice things, one of the other things that was changed with the key item randomizer, I'll show you in a minute after I go sell all this crap and find out what the bike is and also check out the trades. Let's see what the bike is. If it's something good, I'll have to find look for the bike voucher. It is the secret key, so I need that, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to look for the bike voucher, because otherwise I can't access Blaine's gym. And that kinda sucks. Okay, so I can get rid of... I haven't taught anybody strength yet. I should do that so I can at least get rid of strength. Uh, okay, so I can get rid of the iron. I can get rid of... I'll save the lemonade just for healing. Uh, I guess I can... I'll... Should I use the red candy now or later, I wonder? I can sell the protein, I can sell that TM, because it's whatever, it's stun spore, it's not great. Uh, okay, I can sell a bunch of things. So let's start with, we keep the max elixir, obviously, because you don't get that many PowerPoint restoring items throughout the game. I can sell the iron, sell a protein. Uh, do I want to keep all those things? I guess so. $2,000 for that stun spore TM, I'm okay with that. Water stone I can get rid of. I can buy more if I really need them. Awakening, lift key, leaf stone. I don't want to... Uh, I feel weird keeping high jump kick even if I can't use it. Or if Mew can't learn, can't use it, I should say. But he has rolling kick, so that's not too bad. Okay. Let's deposit some stuff in the PC. And then I'll show you what I was going to talk about earlier. About the whole, Gary's going to block me. Oh, no, I know he won't. But still, it's going to be kind of difficult to deal with this anyway. So let me show you what I mean in just a second. Let's put that in here. Uh, should I keep the rare candy now? I don't even know anymore. Let's put the PP up in there because I don't want to use that just yet. Uh, okay, I'm going to 
I'm keeping that. I don't really know why. Okay, let me teach somebody strength so I don't have to hold on to this any longer. Of course, Mew... Okay, I was going to say, if Mew's the only thing I can learn strength, I'd be worried. So, uh, I guess Lapras can learn strength. Sure. Uh, not that this matters terribly, but I guess we'll get rid of Substitute. I should have run with Lapras. <laughs> Just because it would have been, you know, Stab Ice Beam. It would have been amazing. It would have been glorious. All right. I'm just curious what the trades are, just on the off chance that I'm going to have to use one or two. Trade a Dratini for a Butterfree. Well, I don't have a Dratini, so no. Even if I did, I don't know if I'd want to make that trade, even though it would take 10,000 years to level up Dratini and a Dragonite in this game. And we have an Ultra Ball. Okay. So I have to think about this for just a second. So Mew only gets like three more level up moves, I think, because he gets them at 20, 30, and 40. So here's what I was going to talk about. So the actual, the uh, the the way to get to, uh, what is it, Vermilion, is not blocked off by the cop, because so you don't have to go to get the SS ticket from Bill. I mean, you might have to, but you're not forced to. So I could potentially just skip Gary. Uh, and try to level up Mew off of other trainers for a little bit, because I can't... Well, no, that's not true. I actually... No, I can't go back. Never mind. I was going to say I can go back and fight those other trainers out next to Pewter, but I... Pewter? But I can't, because I don't have Cut. So I want to try and level up Mew a bit before I actually bother to fight Gary, because Gary's... Gary's a big old pain in the ass, is what he is. I think I'm going to use one agility to level... to get speed up. Oh, I'm faster than Almanite anyway, but that's fine. Okay, Sonic Boom. You're gonna be gonna be guiling up on this shit, huh? All right, fine. Let's try to get rid of this. Good. Okay. Whew. Good. Oh, never mind. It survived. Wow. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. Please level up off this. The other thing that I have to remember about this, uh, and I don't, I really don't always, I don't normally use legendaries in these sorts of runs. Uh, I have to remember that uh, it's gonna take more... Oh, nice, got the flinch right before that Razor Wind hit. Oh, never mind, it hit the second time. Duh. Uh, legendaries take more XP to level up. I did actually standardize the experience point curves in this game just because I didn't wanna have to deal with that crap, but Still, legendaries take more XP to level up than regular Pokemon, obviously. So let's see what this is. Maybe it's Psychic? Maybe uh, maybe Mew can learn Psychic? Game? Please? Body Slam's a good move. Can't learn it, though. Man, this is rough. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try going down this way just to see if there are any trainers that I can fight that aren't gonna just completely mop the floor with me even though I know Mew is already kind of weakened uh, from that last trainer battle. I have a feeling that all the trainers down here are actually going to be as tough, if not tougher, than that that rocket guy that I just fought. Uh, you have a slow bro want to trade for your drowsy. No. There were hypnos, like, in Mount Moon. Why should I want to trade for that? Oh, good, a potion. I'm going to immediately use that. Try and keep Mew somewhat alive here. I should honestly just go fight Gary or go fight some wild Pokemon for a little while. A little while, but... I don't know. I'm also... in. This is a very strange sort of impatience that I have because I don't want to have to go back and grind against random wild Pokemon. But at the same time, I'm willing to be beat my head against a wall to fight these trainers just to try and level up Mew as quickly as I can. I don't know. Let's just see what this guy has. If he has Pokemon of a relatively comparable level, then... Uh, okay, that's not too bad. Should I use an agility, though, is the question. Let's let's do one agility just to make sure that I'm good. Okay, focus energy, perfect. I'll ice beam this thing. Get it out. Oh, it survived very easily. That is... That hurt quite a bit. Although Focus Energy doesn't even help with Karate Chop. I'm pretty sure that's an instant crit move anyway. Psyduck. God, I have Razor Leaf. 
Or I can miss. Oh, good. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, if Mew had amnesia, then we'd be talking. Although it wouldn't help with Razor Leaf, but it would help with Ice Beam, that's for damn sure. Or if I could crit here? That was a crit. Wow. Oh, nice. Froze it solid. That's going to be good XP right there. Shush. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if Mew is going to be viable for a little bit. I may just have to fight some wild Pokemon out here because I really don't think I can fight any more trainers. I could fight like maybe one more trainer because all of them are stronger than me right now. All of them are stronger than Mew. So, me and Mew. So, let's, let's, can I, can I fight any random Pokemon out here? Are all the wild Pokemon scared now? What's going on here? Thank you. Oh, good. Just what I was hoping to fight. Another Squirtle. That's okay. Shouldn't look a gift turtle in the mouth, but it's not going to give me a lot of XP. Very little, actually. I need to fight something stronger. That's a little stronger. That's also much higher level. Jeez. Okay. This might be bad. Uh. Okay, that's not too bad. That's fine. That's much better. 364 XP as opposed to 92 from Squirtle or whatever it was. Oh, how sad. Wow. Wish I'd found this earlier. Would have probably run with it. Much as I like Mew. Starmie's also really good. Okay. I want to try to get at least... I want to get to try to at least the same level as I think Gary's strongest Pokemon is Chansey's. I think it'll be level 18? Oh boy. Gary too. What do I even use against this? I guess Razor Leaf is slightly stronger than Ice Beam. Wish I hadn't used Thunder Up earlier. Oh, that's going to hurt a lot. Okay, we're running away. Bye bye. Okay, maybe I won't go to level 18. <laughs> maybe I'm just going to have to go back up here. Hopefully beat Gary and then fight every trainer up above uh, in and around the Nugget Bridge, which I don't normally fight all of them. I normally fight the people on Nugget Bridge and I skip as many other trainers as I can, but no, probably isn't going to happen this time. I could have actually fought stuff down here. I didn't even think to do that. But, you know, I'm just trying to trying to speed up the process as much as I can, which has actually ended up making things much slower, of course. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll give Gary a try. See how that goes. And uh, if it fails miserably, then I'll have to, I know I'll have to level grind for a bit. Which I don't want to have to do, but I guess I'm going to have to at least give it a try. Okay. I should have dropped off the strength HM because I'm going to pick up a few other items around here. How many item slots do I have? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, okay. I have enough space. I can go ahead and just hope I can beat Gary here. It's probably not going to happen. Got to see, though. All right, Gary. What you got, buddy? Hopefully not too many terrifying things. Chansey is going to be easier to deal with with Mew because of Rolling Kick and also Mew's much higher physical. Hitmonlee, though. I think I'm going to use an agility just to make sure I'm faster than everything. Oh, good. Fire Blast on the Hitmon. Oh, good. And I'm burned. I don't even want to start with that because I need a good. I need my good attack stat. Game, please. Game, please, why are you doing this to me? I swear the last like three or four of these that I've done, uh, mostly on my Twitch channel, have just been absolute slogs. Like it's just, it's just, it's always something that just ends up making it take so freaking long to get through the games. And I hope it's not gonna keep happening this time. <laughs> 
I mean, it already kind of has. Okay, well, I... Okay, wish I'd done that earlier. Right on, right on, man. Get out of here. I always forget that 100 speed is very, very fast in Gen 1. Like, it's probably... I think these is one of the faster Pokemon in Gen 1. Uh, didn't quite get that Sea King. Oh, nice. Missed the rock throw, thankfully. Okay. Chansey shouldn't be too bad. I hope. Rolling kick, please. Prove me right. Ah, I just... Okay, he missed its kick. Oh, it's the kick battle. Nice. My kick is better. And 900 XP from that Chansey. Wowzers. Okay, cool. Whew. That was actually much, much easier of a fight than I was expecting. Although, to be fair, I think getting those extra couple levels when I was down near Vermilion made a big difference. Okay. Well, since Mew did not get hurt during this fight, I'm actually going to push forward. Let's go through Nugget Ridge and then fight all of the trainers up here. All of the trainers. It's going to take a while, but I think it's going to be worth it long run because I have to level up Mew a lot. And now I really wish I had uh, an Earthquake or something. Oh, there's just a Magnum Might. It's not a Magneton, so it's not too bad. He says, missing his Razor Leaf and then getting hit with a quick attack from a Magnemite. Cool. Really? He survived? With a lot more HP than I would have expected. Oh, well. Nidoran, uh, I guess I have to use Ice Beam. Again, wish I had maybe Earthquake or something. Agility has probably outlived its usefulness at this point. And now I'm wondering, what was Mew's first move? Because it learns a move at level 10, and whatever, it's, whatever I think was in its first move slot, it lost that. And that's now three straight po Pokemon that are weak to Electric, or weak to Ground, that I have to fight that I can't probably one-shot. I can't even one-shot a Pikachu? Are you serious? It's a Pikachu. It's not a good Pokemon. It's a damn Pikachu. How is that not getting one-shot? Horsey better get one-shot. Come on, game. Yay, I actually knocked something out. Okay. Okay. Things are starting to pick up a bit now that I finally have Mew up to almost a halfway decent level. Although it is, again, going to... Why? Game. Why do you do this? Why do you do this? <laughs> okay, that's fine, kid. That's fine. You, you obviously just caught your Mew. You don't know how to use it against other psychic types. Although that razor leaf hurt quite a lot. So I will shut up. I guess I gotta go for rolling kick, right? Or I can miss. Well, that's gonna hurt. Okay, not as much as I thought it was going to. Okay, dude, seriously? I know rolling kick isn't 100 accuracy, but come on, two in a row with the misses? Please game. Please game. Please game. I've already had to switch trains at a time when I really was not expecting to do so. This is bad also. Tentacruel's gonna do... That's not gonna do well at all. Okay, never mind. I forgot Tentacruel is low attack. Oh, man. See, that's what I want. Can I have Psychic, please, on my Mew? Psychic would be perfect as a replacement for agility. It's also a Psychic type attack. Game? What's it gonna learn to level 20? Try to learn Dream Eater. Well, it's a psychic type attack. Not the kind of psychic type attack I was hoping for, though. Yes, it heals me for it heals me. But I just don't want to have to use a move where I have to put an opponent to sleep before I can use it. I I don't want to have to use use up a move slot just to get a sleep move. Unless it's Spore, then I would consider it. Spore and Dream Eater, that's a good that's a good combo. But I don't want to have to give up another move slot just so I can use Dream Eater. So, no. Not happening this time. Sorry. 
Sorry, Dream Eater fans. I just, uh, I just ate your dreams. And they were delicious. Okay. What do you have, lady? Sorry, not lady. Chef. That's like the, what, fourth or fifth Pokemon that's weak to ground that I've had to fight in here? Second Pikachu. Both girls have had Pikachus. That's not weird at all. Okay. Pikachu has agility. And toxic. Really? Okay, then. Let's try to take out this next Pidgeotto. I can take that on an Ice Beam. Pretty sure. Yeah. All right. Glad I didn't sell those antidotes earlier. Because I'm going to use one right now. Or the one antidote, I guess. Oh, I know I could just walk back and heal, but I just, again, it's that weird semi sort of lazy mentality that I have. Just, I don't want to walk 30 feet back that way. I want to just keep moving forward. Even if I have to hit my head against a brick wall in order to move forward. It's, it's this dumb mentality. I freely admit that, but that's just kind of where I am right now in this game. <laughs> I just kind of want to push forward and be like, I just want to. I just want to go at this point. So, okay, got a nugget, cool. I can sell that for $5,000, which I wouldn't mind being able to do that in real life, but you can't, uh, beggars can't be choosers is all I can say about that. But I really would beg this game for a ground type attack. That would be really nice. Okay. I'm not going to learn another move for another nine levels, which kind of sucks. But wow, Mew actually has really good attack. Unfortunate that my two best moves. Oh boy, that's going to hurt. Graveler with Rock Slide. That's, that's like end game viable right there. I mean... Except Golem and Growler are extremely slow, and I'd rather have something fast, personally. Okay. Can can this TM be psychic? And also, can Mew learn it, please? That would be nice. Thank you, game. I would greatly appreciate it if you would do that for me. Okay, Headbutt is a good move. Can't learn it, of course. But Magneton can learn Headbutt. <laughs> Man, Lapras can learn Headbutt. Man, I really missed the boat with Lapras on that one. I really should have pushed for Lapras instead of... Magneton, what a mistake. It's okay. If I had pushed for Lapras, I wouldn't have Mew. So it's all good. It's all good. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's all gravy. Gravy sounds really good right now. Man, I'm hungry. Can you tell? Okay, let's get this Nato King out of here. What do I even use for against coughing? I don't want to keep using my ice beams because that's like my only really viable attack right now against anything that's not water or normal, basically. I know there's a hidden item up here. Oh, good. Another paralyzed heal. I mean, that might be helpful later on. I don't know. I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to not gonna be mad or anything about the fact that I just picked up another cheap item I could find at any store. All right, ghastly. <sighs> Yet again, I need to use Ice Beam because it resists or is immune to all of my other attacks. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to go back and heal just to get my Ice Beams back. That's rough, man. Okay, well at least I can use Razor Leaf against this Tentacruel. Hooray! Not sure if that's something to celebrate. Okay, good. I don't even want to say that word. I did not see what has happened there. I thought that I thought it was over. Uh, instead, that no, of course, the Tentacruel lived with one HP. It did something, but I don't know what it was doing. All right, let's fight this guy, and then I'll go back and heal, get my ice beams back, because I really need them right now. So there are a bunch of trainers left, and wowzers. This game today is just, 
as brutal as what it is today. Oh, okay. One shot the Zapdos. That's not so bad. Almost 800 XP. I'm 100% okay with that. Okay. This, yes, I realize this is slower. This is kind of slow. And I usually like to move things a bit, move things along a bit more quickly than this. But again, I don't, I never switch trains this late in the game unless the Pokemon is of a decent level, like the Eevee or the Snorlaxes or one of the Pokemon in the fighting dojo. So this is unusual for me, but it's okay. We'll just, we will, we will soldier forth onward and upward forward and tally ho and all of those. I don't know. I don't know. Military terms. Is any of that even military? I don't even know anymore. I feel like I've, uh, I feel like I've lost my mind already, <laughs> which is a really good start for this, this, both this playthrough of this game and this channel in general. Yes. Good job. All right. Just got to keep, just got to stay positive, right? Stay positive. And, uh, hope that no, th hope that there aren't going to be too many other things that require me to use Ice Beam on. Like if I could use Razor Leaf, that'd be great. That's not something I can use Razor Leaf on, but I don't have to use Ice Beam, so that's also totally fine. We'll roll it. That did not do much damage. Oh, good. One Sand Attack. Let's see how many moves in a row I miss. That's two. Three. Okay, that's another sand attack, so I'm definitely not going to hit anything else for the rest of the game. Drill pack? That would... Okay, this... I think this Charizard has crit me three times in a row. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Also, this is ridiculous. Screw this Charmeleon. Hey, buddy. Can you stop? That's its fourth move. All right, well, I'm not messing around at this point. I didn't want to use an ice beam, but here we are. Do I have any healing items? I know I have a max potion, but I don't think I have anything else. I don't want to use it if I can help it, unless I'm just absolutely desperate. Nope, I have no other healing items. <laughs> I'm so very good at this game. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll work with it. We'll work with it. Kabuto, fine. I can use something other than ice beam against it. Thank you, game. Okay, I was expecting that to miss there. Glad it didn't. Oh boy, here we go. Another fire type. Another thing that I would benefit from having... And my attack fell. Of course it did. I was going to use Rolling Kick to finish it off, but then it lowered my attack, so no, I'm not going to do that anymore. Okay, only another... What, four more trainers to go in this route? Use it half health. This is totally fine. Oh, good. Another Pokemon I have to use Ice Beam on. I mean, I don't have to. I could use, I could use Razor Leaf if I really wanted to, because it would do neutral damage. And another Pokemon that I have to use Ice Beam on. That one, I have to use Ice Beam on. Where's my Psychic? Can I have Psychic? Even Psybeam I'd be fine with. Oh my... You know what? Let's see how much damage Rolling Kick does, because it do, it'll at least do neutral damage to that Spearow. Okay, good. Oh, good. Something I can actually... The one time I actually get to do something that will deal super effective damage with Rolling Kick, and I miss. Awesome. Now here's the question. Do I use the Max Potion now? Or do I try to see if I can push through these last three trainers? Because if I can push through, then I'm going to. We'll see. That's why I saved. I'm really not going to expect anything to go well here. Like this. Are you kidding me, game? Are you kidding me? I'm just glad that fire doesn't resist ice in Gen 1. And yet another Pokemon I have to use Ice Beam on. 
I am so glad I have Ice Beam on this, on this Mew. You have no idea. Now I just have to hope that this TM is really good and that also Mew can learn it. Maybe Earthquake or Dig. Didn't I see TM15 earlier? Maybe not, I don't know. You know what, Bone Club would even be great. Of course it can't learn it. Of course it can't learn it. Why would I ever have... <laughs> I feel like for the second time in this playthrough, I've hitched my wagon to the wrong horse. Or in this case, the wrong cat, I guess. Outer space cat. Whatever. Okay. Not salty at all at this point. All right. Onyx is fine. I just want to push through and see if I can get through to Bill at this point. Okay. Yet another thing I wish I had Earthquake or Dig for. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna run out of Ice Beams before I get to Bill. Probably. I thought that guy had three Pokemon on his team. Apparently I misread that. Whoops. All right, what does this last girl have? Please have a team I can defeat easily. Please. Okay, that's a good start. Sand Slash, perfect. That did not sound like a Mew, that sounded like a Staryu. Not complaining, just... Nice, another Pokemon I can use Razor Leaf with. Cool. Wow, three Poke, I, okay. Game proved me wrong. I got to Bill without running out of Ice Beams. And I didn't have to heal Mew either. What is this item here? Full heal. Okay. All right. Thank God we're done with that route. Now this is probably gonna be a useless item, I'm guessing. But you know what? Even if it's a useless item, at least we gained a lot of experience. All right, Bill, what you got for me? Please be useful. Gold teeth, okay, gross. All right, so fun part about this, for some reason, Bill's house in this game is treated like uh, like the like an underground tunnel like Mount Moon so I can escape using dig which saves a little bit of time I learned that weird fact when I was doing uh randomized races with friends on twitch that you can do that okay so now I think is a good spot to go ahead and call it a day because this has been a hell of a day at least we got Mew up to a decent level at this point. And it's 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 decently strong right now. It's got good attack. It's got good speed. Special leaves a bit to be desired, but you know, maybe it'll get a decent maybe maybe Misty will give me a good move. Like Psychic or Psybeam or Earthquake or even Dig. Or, you know, if Bone Club would have been learned, that would have been nice. But we'll see next time. So thanks everybody for watching, and I will talk to you all next time.